a hands-on look at new changes and features in iOS 12 Beta 5. The first thing we'll talk about are the new buttons in the Apple News app. So the Today, the Spotlight, and the Channels button have all been slightly redesigned with updated glyphs. In the Albums tab in the Photos app has been updated. This is the previous beta. You can notice the media types in the other albums don't have any sort of glyphs next to them. But in beta 5, you'll notice that each media type along with other albums now have their own glyphs, making them easier to identify at a glance. There's also an updated use as wallpaper glyph in the share sheet in the Photos app. So you can see that's how it used to look. Now you'll notice in beta 5, it's been slightly altered. The glyph for the use as wallpaper button, now it more closely matches the create watch face button both of which reside in the Photos app share sheet. And speaking of the Photos app share sheet, you'll notice an additional change. The copy link button has a new glyph and new text to go along with it. Now in beta five, it no longer just says copy link, but it says copy iCloud link, which is more descriptive of what it actually does. And you see the new glyph there as well. In the Apple Music app, there are now new search hints. So previously, this is the previous beta, you can see the search box really doesn't have anything there to tell you what you can search on. But in beta five, you can see when you go over to search, you get a much more descriptive search box telling you can search by artists, song lyrics, and more. And not just that, there's a new search by lyrics box to help you realize that yes, you can search by lyrics. One of the biggest pet peeves that I think a lot of people have noticed and a lot of people have complained about is the fact that the pause button, when you press pause, it's misaligned. It's not properly aligned to the center and it just kind of stands out like a sore thumb. But now in beta five, that has been remedied finally. <laughs> the play pause button is now properly aligned and now it appears right in the center of the circle. The stocks widget got an update in iOS 12 beta 5. Now this is how it used to look on the previous beta. When you tap the show more button, the individual stocks were sort of oversized, but now in beta 5, when you show more, you can see if it's a lot more stock information there because they're sized properly. Now it's entirely possible that this could be a bug, but passcode presses are now a lot more subtle in beta 5. This is how it used to look. And now watch when you tap one of the passcode buttons in beta five, you almost can't even discern that you tapped on it. It's just so subtle. And while it's true that this could be a security feature, I'm starting to think that it's more of a bug than a security feature. What do you guys think? When you use face ID within an app, this is what you used to see, the little smiley face there scanning with face ID. But in beta five, the smiley face is no more. Now in the previous beta, when you went to podcast settings in the settings app, you'll see a remote controls heading with skip instead of next slash previous switch. But now in beta five, that switch has been removed in favor of two selections, next previous and skip forward slash back. Up until now, the battery health setting in iOS has been in beta. So if we go to battery, you can see battery health with a little beta in parentheses. So that's still in beta on previous betas, beta, beta, beta. But now in beta five, you can see that battery health is no longer in beta. Another thing you'll notice is improved contrast on 3D touch quick action shortcuts. So here's how it used to look. And now in beta five, the shortcuts are much easier to read thanks to the improved contrast. And the last thing we'll talk about are new FaceTime sound effects found in beta five. Listen in. So folks, that has been a hands-on look at iOS 12 beta 5. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5 Mac.